Lindeberg's sixth birthday, March 1950. And right next to her, on one side, I see Hunter Minnick. And then I believe that's Marta Miller. I never saw her since so happy about white gloves. And on the sofa, Marty Thornberry in blue and Patty Nichols. And there's the birthday cake. And tulips. And Lucy, also dressed in a blue pinafore. I tried to do them in sister dresses for a good long while. There is Lucy. That girl was cuddlesome from the time she was born, and Marjorie Jenkins helping with the cake. And there's B.A. Benson, lovely Beryl Ann. And two little Benson boys were around the table somewhere. And also, uh, Beth Jenkins and Ann Thomas. My red curtains were the delight of my life for years. There's Molly, blonde. Stu Symington came over to see us after the children had all departed. In those days, Stu was a very constant visitor at 30th Place, and Paul Porter was often there, too. And Stu was always a favorite of the ladies, age 3 to 60. He was especially fond of Lucy. That doll was one of Linda Bird's best gifts for her sixth birthday. There's Paul Porter. Always good stories and gaiety accompanied him. There's Zephyr with Lucy and the Peonies. In those days, I was a great gardener, and my peonies were one of my favorite products. The backyard at 30th Place, I loved it. Linda and Lucy in sister dresses, and there's their little cousin Rodney and Lyndon against the climbing tile of scarlet. And it was a threesome. I, too, had one of those pink dresses with a blue braid on it. In fact, it still hangs at the ranch in the closet. There's Hunter Minix and Beth Jenkins and Lucy. And Molly Thornberry. And this is Lucy's birthday. On the back porch, there's Rodney White helping Lucy open packages. Raggedy Ann, larger than the child who's holding her. Lissy Grant will be somewhere in the group. Lucy's birthday parties were always a happy occasion for all the mamas. We used to have hamburgers with homemade buns and beer out in the backyard and just have a good time after the children got settled to their place. Four candles, her third birthday, and one to grow on. And back in the yard, you'll see my day lilies and the hollyhocks. Molly. Hunter. Lucy. You'll notice she had on the same birthday dress that she wore to Linda's party. I'm afraid I wasn't a very indulgent mother about clothes. Linda Bird helping run the party. Here she is with a great garland of balloons.
little Rodney, who stayed with us months of that year. I can almost taste that birthday cake now. Halloween, 1950. Rodney White and Philip Bobbitt, the sons of Lyndon's sisters, Josepha and Rebecca. And there's little John Conley, son of Governor Conley, the little Smith girl. We are at Mr. Bible's Play Park in Austin, Texas. The favorite thing for the children to do in those days when Linda was six and Lucy three. And Halloween was always a big day in our lives. There's Carolyn Kellum and Lucy and Philip and Rodney. There's Kathleen Conley and Nita Louise Kellum. Kathleen in the skeleton suit, Nita Louise in the cowboy costume. There's Lucy, like a pink rabbit. And two little gnaws looking like Genghis Khan or Tamerlane. The two little Kellum girls and Linda Bird. And there's Robert Brooks and Molly Thornberry. What a handsome pair they were. Ah, Lucy, I could grab you up and pet you. Everybody always could. The mamas went along and had as much fun as the children. And here we are at the refreshment table. Linda Bird and Kathleen, those two who loved each other so much. All those years, constant companions. The little Smith girl. And Robert, such a smart boy, so good looking. And there's Jeannie Deason and Marietta Brooks. And the little Coleman girl from across the street, Lucy's constant companion in her childhood years. And here we are, the school where Linda Bird went uh, for first grade and second grade. Mrs. Huberick's school in Austin, just about a block from 1901 Dillman. She went from September to Christmas. She loved it dearly. It was a good indoctrination. And now, Christmas, 1950. Linda Bird beginning to get quite plump. I always tried to get them a bright dress for, for Christmas in red velvet was one of the very favorite choices. That is the picture that we have used so much for years, our best one, a Giddings Direct Color Photography. And there is a young and radiant Mary Rather, Lyndon's top secretary, and Lulu, her godchild. There is Helen Williams with Lyndon playing his favorite role of Santa Claus. Just in a moment, a very resplendent dress. Oh, there comes the doll. Lucy's best gift for that Christmas. And there's Willie Day Taylor. I wonder if that is the doll that Linda Bird later on traded back to Lucy for a large sum. At least she's accused of having done it. Mary assisting Santa Claus. And there's Warren Woodward. He'd just come to work for us more than a year before. Very much a member of the family. Later on, for those two little girls, he had what he laughingly called the Woodward Date Bureau. In my best hostess gown. And there comes the party dress. One each for Linda and Lucy. Two young Busbys, Mary V and Horace, had not been married too long. And Lyndon, in front of my manor decorations, I was very proud of them. Those satin stockings that Neva West gave us were part of our lives for many Christmases. They were rather new then. The fire on the hearth at 30th place, always a good gathering point. And here, the end of the day, a long, happy Christmas, Linda and Lucy. 
There's Paul Porter and Grace Tully, both frequent visitors. And here in the depths of winter, beginning of 51. The backyard at 30th Place. Lucy had a bit of a lisp in those days and a slightly tongue-tied, which uh, just endeared her all the more. 